Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Rome 2 battle for you today and as you can see, it's a bit of a naval battle here today. Um, something a, bit, a little bit different that I thought we'd, uh, we'd try out uh, in, today's, in today's replay and that is a naval battle. We don't often see them, I feel, and uh, I mean, they, they are quite chaotic. If you've ever watched any of my DEI streams, then you know that I'm pretty chaotic when it comes to um, naval battles. I just ram with everything, that is all you do. You ram and you go in. But anyway, yes, we have Rome, we have Parthia, and we have Kush uh, battling against uh, Cimmeria. We have Carthage and Seleucid. So I presume we're going to see just a load of clashing of ships in a moment. And we're just going to see, uh, looks like we're going to see Cimmeria go in here against Kush. And in go the first few ships. I don't know if any of them have rammed each other. I mean, yeah, it looks like already plenty of sinking ships. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to go. I mean, we've got fire pot ship here blowing up, uh, blowing up, trying to burn stuff. We've got, uh, looks like a, some other ships going. Oh, jeez. Cimmeria taking an absolute pounding there from one of these up by reams, but that also going down as well. So, uh, that's like a bit of a kamikaze on there. There's definitely going to have to be some slow mos in this because there's absolute chaos. But it seems like Cimmeria and Carthage are taking the brunt of it, and then we're going to see, like, a rear guard of, like, Seleucids arrive and just punch, punch through somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where though. It looks like we're going to see. Uh, um, looks like Cimmeria's going to burn up over here. A very chaotic one. We've got like a. Uh, a uh, artillery ship here. I, it's not a bad idea to bring some artillery ships, maybe. But uh, we will see what happens there. We've got some uh, Persian light archers. They are about to get hit here. I mean, I don't know how good these like ships are. I mean, they're pretty big. They are heavy ships. So I presume they're half these. In they go. Cimmeria, I think, has like a bunch of axemen on their ship. Yeah, young axes. So, I mean, they'd be pretty good at melee against these things. They may want to try and board. You see, they're flanking around hard on this side over here. I mean, Cimmeria is like a Greek faction. A uh, Greek, like, sort of influence faction. So, they they definitely are going to have some half-decent ships, I imagine. Uh, and obviously, Rome has got a, an okay navy. But you certainly want to be bringing... Uh, Carthage is also a really strong power in this one. I mean, look at this. <laughs> 76 damage and 100% fire damage. Trying to do as much as possible. I mean, definitely going for like, a burning tactic. Burning ships down is not a bad idea either. Certainly not be trying to get into combat with the, the Romans. They have like their, their Hestadi on their ships. Much smaller ships over the Briareems here. And they're actually getting caught by these uh, Kushite Royal Archers here. But yes, if you're in interested in seeing more uh, naval battles, let me know. Um, it's kind of an interesting one. This is a, oh my gosh, look at that! Absolutely crushing that Parthian ship there. It's certainly something a little bit different. Um, but yeah, if you're enjoying seeing Rome 2 content at the moment, and would like to see some more, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're here, and a comment to show your support. As always, guys, it's very much appreciated. Look at this assault uh, Hexterus here, it's eighty-two percent damage, one hundred percent like fire damage. Um, that's not so great. Parthi over here is actually getting routed pretty hard. Looks like Cimmeria is doing a lot of good damage and they're able to flank around as we currently speak. If they can get this Kushite General, which will be huge, could do a lot of damage here. And it seems like this uh, missile uh, Trier is here or whatever it is, I don't know. But it's very much damage at the moment. Again, these Assault ex Hexteria is doing a lot of damage. And you can see Rome's General is very deep in the lines now. Look at this. Assault Queen Korea. Uh, Quag Quadrium here, he's coming forward. We're taking 60% damage. And I mean, the Sluices have actually thrown in their general first. Seems like a bit of a bold move. Over on this side, seems like uh, Carthage sort of making some progress. But his general is now involved, engaged here. He's helping to route some Roman ships. We also got Kush here as well, trying to do their best to stay alive. Are we going to see Rome's general though get attacked? I don't know. Cimmeria could definitely do with taking him out. He is very, very low. Look at all the carcasses. All the ship carcasses breaking. Absolute chaos. Velite's here. I mean, you could definitely take this one out as well. I mean, I like how they're throwing flaming javelins. I'm not quite sure how you manage that. I feel like that would be uh, quite dangerous to the person holding it. We've got some... Uh, Quinquereum's back here though. These are missile... Uh, these are like missile Velite... Um, Missile Velites. These are missile uh, Quinquereums here. As you can see, we just get rid of that. The chaos going on down here. All the different ships. Absolute chaos. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Looks like we've got uh, Cimmeria coming in here. This is Rome's general. Has just died right here. And there you go. His men sink to the bottom of the ocean. And Rome's general is dead. And that will do a lot of damage to morale. Um, like, it's a really, really good way to, uh, to win naval battles. Just to assassinate some generals. 
Um, so, I mean, Carthage having his so deep in enemy lines is a big risk. I mean, he, I don't know what he's going after now, but I mean, Rome looks like he's a bit AFK. He's just, like, taking... He's just taking shots right now. I mean, his uh, ships right now are about to get rammed by the general of Carthage. In it comes. And this missile can create him getting hit hard. And it's starting to, uh, starting to take a lot of damage. Carthage has got very little of a fleet left, as has Cimmeria. Um, but as we know, the Seleucids are still very healthy with their navy. And it's just sitting at the back here. It needs to get moving. I don't know what they're waiting for, really. Although, my gosh, do they actually have what I think they have? Yeah, they have all artillery ships. Oh, my gosh. Okay, fair enough. So they've just been firing artillery all the way back here. Just taking pot shots. And they have just rammed the back of that... Uh, that Kushai Archer like ship there from Kush, so that's good. But yeah, they have just entirely artillery ships. No wonder they're just sitting back here. So they're just letting um, the other two factions cause all the chaos. Carthage and uh, Cimmeria. And they're just going to try and destroy them as uh, quickly as possible here. And the Seleucids, I mean, Seleucid artillery ships, they're not as strong as melee ships, I'm pretty sure. But they're still heavy ships. All the same, Rome just losing another ship there. That's getting sunk to the bottom of the ocean. I mean, morale is going to be low. I don't know if Parthi's got his generalship left either. No, he doesn't. I don't think any of them do. Kush has lost his as well. Real, real concern here for uh, the Kushite, Roman, and Parthian alliance. It's a very long co convoluted name for it. It seems a bit of a traffic jam back here, though. It does seem a little bit, uh, a little bit of a mess. We're about to see Rome get charged here again. Another ship going down. I mean, also, every time they seem to be hitting, uh, like, an R3 shot, he's doing a lot of fire damage. And there you go. It looks like we're going to see the Seleucid faction win here today. Or the Seleucid coalition win here today. These assault hexteras here chasing down these remaining ships. So like, run, run for your lives. I mean, they're definitely going to outrun him. It's a light missile ship. Oh, or maybe not. And there you go. That is gone. It's one less Parthian ship. Rome losing another one there as well. I mean, the, my tactic is always to ram. Ram and you win. And they're just focusing down what remains of uh, of this Roman navy. I mean, they just seem to be leaving everything back here. Just not even bothering to fight. Just taking hits left, right, and center. Oh, my gosh. Just ripping through the ranks here. Of the uh, the Velites, they're all burning up down there. Taking hits, jeez, it's at 70 percent damage. I mean, it's going to 90, 100 percent damage, and it's being evacuated, and it's getting rammed anyway. And there you go, a costly victory for Cimmeria, but uh, a worthy one. I don't know if it's really bother. Is there any point looking at it? kills but screw it we'll have a look i mean we've got uh the 152 kills here with these uh cyberian heavy archers is pretty good i mean 50 kills done here with more cyberian heavy archers young axe is getting 55 yeah everything else getting rammed killed i guess you don't get kills for ramming star killer here playing as the sluices with his uh like artillery spam 117 kills with his one of them there um and then you've got 43 kills with the uh, artillery uh ship here the onager ship then we have uh, Billy T. Sherm, 164 kills with his uh, Libyan Javis, 64 down here with Libyan, Libyan Javis, but that's just kind of it. So Milo over here playing as Parthia, 61 kills here with Light Persian Archer, um, and then like Light Persian Archer down here, 14, 28, yeah, nothing like insane. Breeze Blocks uh, playing his Kush, 92 kills here with his Royal Kushite Archers. Um, his artillery ships, 182 kills. They seem to do very well then, do onager ships. And then we have JS Pradley playing as Rome. Uh, 43 kills with his uh, assault quadrium here with his Princapes. Uh, 32, 96 with his uh, Velite Quincrium and 137 with his Velite Quincrium here as well. But there you go, guys. A little bit of a different battle for you today. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, do remember to like, subscribe if you're new on here, and a comment to show your support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.